Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is but you got it Make up in the morning you got dresses in your closet Starts to deplete. Your 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 love for me starts to deplete. Words got deep, it's like a swat. Like Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar. Mm -hmm, mm. All right, y'all. I just want to quickly bum rush this video to tell you if you've been seeing the numbers 909-818-919-808-81155. If the song yet has been stuck in your head, yet. Don't give up on me yet. By the kingdom will come. Or that Travis Green song, Intentional. He's intentional. He's intentional. Or even if you've been seeing butterflies, something in this like vlog is going to resonate with you. And you need to watch the full things. There's a lot of hidden and crazy messages going on throughout this vlog. It took me a week to make this vision board. And I put a little time in it. So if any of those numbers, 909-911-909. 818-808-1155. Any of those resonates with you. Them two songs resonate with you. Um, Redemption by Drake. If that resonates with you, just watch this full video. Like and subscribe to the video. And that was it. Good morning, heirs. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you can expect a video from me every Wednesday and every Sunday. So, it's Monday. It's currently... 8 20 in the morning i basically just dropped my kids off from school and i got things to do um so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm about to go to the grocery store it's grocery shopping day um i'm also super excited because i'm making my very detailed vision board this week yeah! and, you know, I had one for 2022, but when I moved out of my apartment or whatever, it just was done for. And so the one I have for 2023 is bigger and better. And this one is going to be a lot more detailed. And when I say a lot more detailed, I'm including things in this one that I never even thought of for my last one. But I want everything to be visioned out, planned out, and detailed. Like, I'm giving God the details. So... We got that groceries left for us. Um, I'm also probably gonna make me some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches today. I've been craving those. I want some Philly cheesesteak. Hit the gym and I wanna do my nails. So that's the roster for today. But first, I need to put some clothes on. Mm. All of these women, they not on your level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. You like a mix of business and pleasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move by you giving scene of views. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even. Definitely a wear a hat type of day, but before I go anywhere, especially before you go grocery shopping, I want to be eating me some breakfast. I'm a breakfast girly, and today I love rice and butter. I'm gonna make me some rice and butter and bacon before I go and get me a cup of coffee. So let's go. But you ain't even flexing. 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 All right, I'm finna take y'all into my closet and say to y'all, say the affirmation with me. And y'all gonna say it with me. I believe in myself. I am worthy of whatever I desire. I release the belief of having to work hard to get what I desire. Love is flowing through me constantly. I am made of and from love. I have angels waiting to help with everything I desire. God is more than capable to give me what I desire. I am at ease. Feeling good is my purpose and priority. I am worthy. My actions are always inspired from within and I am listening to myself more and more. I am the creator of my reality and I am loving on myself daily. So eventually I'm gonna turn that into a whole prayer closet. That's actually where my vision board is gonna go. 
Um, I'm gonna start spending more time in that closet because I I need to be meditating more. I need to be still and listening more than I am complaining and whining and worrying. And you know that is what took the is it the Israelites? I hope I ain't calling them the wrong name from an supposedly to have an 11 day journey to a 40 day journey and I'm going to be reading that today because I keep getting that message that the problem here is really me and my worrying and my mindset and I be thinking that I'm all good in that area and then every day at some point in the day it'll hit me that I'm not and I keep hearing that message so I need to go and read that passage and see What's in there that God has for me? And when I do, I'm going to share it with y'all. Y'all, the spirit of get back in my bed and take a nap is on me so heavy, Lord. I pray that spirit off me in Jesus' name. I bind you. I mean, a quick nap before go shopping, but... Can I go to 9.30? No, no, no. No, no, no. I got my clothes on. I'm going to go shopping. The fact that I had to force myself out of the house instead of taking a nap is crazy. Like, I literally, I was like, I really want to go to walk, like, my local Walmart because that's where I always go to get my groceries and I know where everything is and I've be, been to learn the store. But at the same time, I also want to try a new grocery store, which would be Kroger. But I don't want to get to the grocery store and then I don't see the stuff that I need. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that'll make me mad. And I'm already sleepy. <clears throat> but I feel like Kroger is not that much further. Let me look up Kroger. so spur at the moment I'm gonna print some of them pictures up at home and I'm gonna print some of them Kroger at um Kroger is five minutes away y'all starting route to Kroger head north on oh, la, 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 la. then turn left la, 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 la. Siri be trying to tell y'all my location my location, you know that's dangerous. That is so dangerous. How all these YouTubers getting stopped? Stop. You can still hear the sickness in my voice. I think it's almost about that time for me to go to a hospital or something and go figure out like if I didn't got pneumonia. <laughs> my god, my ex me the other day. She was like, "You do you have pneumonia?" I'm like, "I hope not." Shoot, I'm gonna be real mad. I'm gonna be so mad if I got pneumonia. Cause I'm tired. I'm tired of being sick. I feel like I've been sick. I've been sick like two weeks. I've been feeling like I've been sick a month. Anyway, let's not waste too much of this vlog time in this car. I got four minutes left of the drive. green but he also gave me the best parking spot we never said exclusive i just promised you my time and i'm giving it to you babe so i keep being accusive your emotions running wild if you don't calm down i can't stay breathe in breathe out let me speak now what happened was a one-time thing no bullshit, no lie I swear I'll try to give you my everything Baby, can't you turn up like die? Let it slide, let it slide Look the other way this one time Let it slide, let it slide I'm entitled to some fun while I'm young and dumb Swear to you
let me speak now what happened was a one-time thing no bullshit no lie i swear i'll try to give you my everything today baby let me tell y'all after i left the grocery store i started feeling real bad like i couldn't breathe short of breath short winded y'all know i've been sick or whatever but um yeah my like i just started feeling bad so i um took a nap i woke up i still didn't feel good i feel like real like short winded out of breath so i sat up there and i made the philly cheesesteak and I felt like I was, like, going down. Like, I was like, oh, my God. I feel like I'm about to pass out. So, I went and got my keys early this missile, and I've been in the hospital. Anyway. um, End up. Say I got bronchitis. So, I will go get and pick up the medicine for that tomorrow. And, yeah. Now, so. look at the page you turn to. A captain's face. And... Good morning, airs. So it is currently Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. And I am so excited because I, you know, yesterday I ended up in the hospital. It was a horrible day. The rest of the day was just, uh, I ended up making the Philly cheese day. It was good, but I didn't, <laughs> I was doing so bad. Like my whole day just went left yesterday. Today is a much better day. And I need to go back to the grocery store. I need to finish grocery shopping. And today is the day I'm finishing my uh, 2023 vision board. I'm getting ready to print out some pictures. When I say this mug, going to be so detailed. Like, my last one got nothing on this one. And, yeah. Let's go over here to the closet and read the affirmation again because it is a new day. I am the creator of my reality. I am loving on myself daily. So tell me why. You know, I'm a part of this spiritual community where you meet on TikTok. Um, every other morning, a few mornings a week, we all be there. We all like talk spirituality, um, manifestation, the power of the mind, changing the mindset, all of that stuff. Um, she also does spiritual readings. And I know people hear spiritual readings and they get spooked. But anyway, when you resubscribe to her monthly um subscription and everything you know is a supportive space she gives you a reading so i resubscribed this morning and i got a reading that was so in 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 line with what um is going on in my life in my last two videos so ideas you thought i forgot about you <laughs> baby Baby, you thought I forgot about you? <laughs> no, I was just giving you an opportunity to get your shit together. Because if we're going to do this, we're going to do this. You can't keep playing games. You can't love me when it's blessed, when you're blessed. And um, move, move in a way. Oh, what is this? I'm trying to get to you. And then move in a way. Like, once you get your blessings, you're good to go. You just live your life. You're happy. You're blessed. You're free. And then as that starts to deplete, your 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 love for me starts to deplete. It's this, it's this, y'all know. It's, it's, it's like, like Spirit said, like, when you have, a, when, we, when we're happy and all our manifestations, bells are ringing and everything's singing and stuff, we aren't really in our gratitude more than we're in our celebration and in our, phew, that was, you know, finally kind of thing and energy and life gets good and we get into a flow of comfortability with that goodness and then 
as it starts to deplete, we start to get angry with God. We start to feel left out. We start to feel like uh, you forgot about me. And God is like, what are you talking about? You just cleaned your plate of abundance. Like I, like, I just scooped you up real good. You just starting to get to the end bits of it. And now, you know, you're, 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 you're forgetting that dessert comes after dinner. So Spirit says, I'm going to give you a minute to let your food digest. My mom used to do that. We would eat. She would be making brownies. You could smell the brownies while you still eating your chicken and french fries or whatever the dinner was, right? And you get to a place where you're like, do I want some more? Like leftovers. Like, do you want some more? Or are you ready for those brownies you smell in the, in, in the oven? And he's just been getting up early and I don't understand if you eat more, you won't have room for dessert, but the food was so good. Or you enjoy the fact that the food was good. Think on the flavors and the taste and be in the present moment of the digestion of these abundance, of this blessing, so that you can re-energize and be ready for dessert. There's more happened in your life. So much has happened just now, right? And so it's time for you to just... Let your food digest. Like, spirits just keep saying it. Like, let it digest. Let it sort its way out and let it be nurturing to you. When you think about food digesting in the belly and and the, the, the things being sent different ways, some stuff is absorbed in the bloodstream, some stuff is being pushed through the small and large intestine, some things, you know, stay in the belly, some fats are absorbed, some nutrients, vitamins. It's like, you got to let everything that recently Sirens. You got to let everything that recently happened in your life digest. Y'all don't hear, baby? Okay. <laughs> All right. I swear I hear a baby crying, like calling. Okay. The recognition card is here for you, Ares. We see you. Listen, <laughs> one thing she gonna do, she gonna use a good analogy. Look, the recognition card. We see you, but we don't see you how we need to see you. So you gotta pull yourself together. You have you have to get ready. No time like the present. Be spontaneous. No time like the present. And come out of this thought process that I've forgotten about you or that, you know, I'm not your friend or that I, I don't hear your prayers. I do. But like my mom would do us, when we were done eating and we had to decide, you want some more? Or you're going to be too full for dessert? You can have your dessert for your lunch tomorrow. Or you could not have more, save room for dessert, get up and go play while I'm still putting these brownies together. They still got to cool off. I still got to cut them. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's still other things that have to be done before you get this, this real goodness. So go do other things. Go do other things. And be in a place of gratitude. Last shuffle for Eris, please, Spirit. Because I feel you bringing it through. <laughs> and go do other things like relax and let it digest and give thanks that you were able to partake in the meal in the beginning. We say grace before eating, but what do we do afterwards? We say grace. Before we eat, the sirens won't shut up. <laughs> we give thanks before we partake, but what do we do after we eat? Thank you, Lord, for this food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our body. In Christ's sake, we pray, amen. And after we eat, then what? What do we say to God after we've partaken in the blessings and now we have an empty plate and a full belly? We don't say, damn, can I get some more to eat around here? We said, ooh, that was just so good, man. You put your foot in that one. Thank you. Ugh. Is there something left over for tomorrow? Every little thing is going to be all right, ma'am. And thank you for <laughs> resubscribing because that message definitely touched <laughs> touched some spaces for me as well. Toy, I see you in the comments for me too, friend. There's never any of that, All right? And so it's like you gotta, you could get big in that, in that, in that, in that, in that space of 
being upset. It's allowed. We're supposed to see that because if we're seeing it true, we're going to see where the gratitude is in that space. I don't like washing clothes. I don't like folding clothes. I don't like nothing about laundry except put it, finding what I want to wear and put it on. And every two weeks, I drop my clothes off and wave goodbye and come back the very next day and pick up folded, clean, hand you know what I'm saying? Clean laundry. Those things I didn't even have at one point in my life. Right? Loaf the laundry, okay? I don't like going to the grocery store that much anymore. So I have the means to be able to order out, go pick up, and it still be healthy options, right? But I don't have to do much about it. It's those kind of things that we have to be like, wait a minute. We're already living the life we asked for. We're just looking for the material shit. Think on that. You're living the life you asked for in some way, shape, or form. You're just waiting for it to materially realize in your life. Understand that. Your path, wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Your path is not blocked by anybody else but ourselves. First out is the nine of swords. You got to get clear. What do you want? And, and not worry about how it's going to come or how you can have it. Just what is it? Location. Where you going? You want a different job? Sure. What industry? What field? What company? You just, we, I am feeling like divine is asking us to stop coming with half assed, ask. So like we come and say, God, I want a new home. We're not saying where we want to go, what the research is, what we've been looking at, things. Of, you know, it reminds me of, y'all, <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. Christmas. And my mom asking me and my sister, like, what we want for Christmas, right? And she would always say, me and your Aunt Nita, we going to the mall, we might see Santa, so give us your Christmas list. And if it was anything on that list that was like, mm, what you need that for? Why would y'all ask for that? Or I don't know about this toy or game or whatever, right? She would send us back to go get more information or, or figure out like where it could be, especially if it was something that we didn't have a picture of or a cutout, we would ask for something, right? And stuff that they weren't aware of, you know, we had to like get a picture of it or be watching TV and be like, they put a commercial, is that right there, Ma? Is that like, we? it, it feels like God is asking us for more. I'm actually sure that reading, she don't like when you screen record, so I record it from my blogging phone, of course. But when I say like, I, I like to protect that space. I like to not share that space with people and tell people about that space because people start to judge. But first of all, everyone, you don't know who's being used by God and who's being used. Like, you can't make that differenti differentiation for me. I know that she's in alignment with me because when I read my Bible, when I get my message from the Holy Spirit, when I get a, and receive a message from her, they are all in line. And anything that comes from God is going to be all in alignment. You're not going to go over here, get a word over here, read your Bible, and then listen to somebody and they are the exact opposite of what you're talking about. So I love the, the fact that I could be in that space in that community and have friends there and we have an open mind. We don't place limits on God. And like I said, I am doing a um video coming soon about uh the top five influencers that changed my life. And she is on that list. And I'll go more in detail about her there. But I'm just giving you like a quick, I don't, just don't even come to my comments because I already know she's in alignment with me. Like, that was God sent. God sent me in that space, in that area where I can have friendships. And I be saying I don't have friends all the time, but in my mind, these people are my friends. Like, we we are all here. We all be going through the same stuff. We all be in alignment with each other. We all be having the same things going on at the same time. We're in alignment. Just as much as me listening to Chantilla Deja and her prophetic words, like, God gives different gifts to different people, and he uses people in different ways. And... It's not up to you to put anybody in hell or heaven, and it's not up to you to decide who is in alignment to who. You just need to worry about you. So if she's not in alignment with you, when God tells me to cut it off or whatever or move along, I'll understand that and, you know, have gratitude that I was able to be in that area in that space, and I'll move on. But, y'all, I'm going to let y'all hear the reading and insert it here. Her literal 
first words to me because I don't know if I caught that before I start recording because I was like, you know what? I need to record this. This is something I need to record. Her literal first words of my reading was, you thought I forgot about you guys. Like she said, guys, like you thought I forgot about you. You thought I left you hanging. Or no, not left you. She didn't say left you hanging, but as soon as she said, you thought God are, I was like, so crazy. That was my last YouTube message. Like, I feel like God left me hanging. And she started explaining, you know what? I'm going to let you read. I just thought it was so crazy. She started the whole first reading with you. God is like, you think I've forgotten about you? And I was like, Ugh. she finna, she finna read me, baby. She finna look into my soul and see what's going on. And she did. So we had a whole, like, we have been on here for about an hour and a half. Maybe two hours now, you know, having a whole group discussion. My one reading turned into a whole entire 30-minute discussion about just being in gratitude and how the devil will try to, you know, so yeah and just like that guess who message just popped up on my phone Shantia Deja now listen to what she says because the last the last um card that um Ivory pulled for me was to relax and you know bam bam boom so both of those um um scriptures hey, messages first of all is just confirmation but I love the ending where it says their life will be like a watered garden and all of their sorrows will be gone listen child I don't know what seasons y'all been in but the season that I have been in recently has been a season where I have been holding on by a thread okay literally holding on by a thread and so I kept pushing I kept pushing I kept pushing because I know that prayer works because I know that God hears me because I know that my situation has to change because I know that my situation will change right and so this is not the first time when I've been in the season where I've been holding on by a thread but now now that I've been in those seasons previously, I know how to operate, okay? When I step into this season where my faith might just be the size of a mustard seed. And so listen, child, when the Holy Spirit brought me back to this passage, this scripture, okay, to just remind me that, you know, your life will be like a watered garden, okay? A watered garden means that you will continuously be producing. You will continuously be experiencing a harvest, okay? No matter what season you're in, whether it's a dry season, whether it's not a dry season, God is like whatever season you are in, you will continuously be producing and birthing, okay? And you will Will have to see the fruits of your labor and so when i read this especially the part where it says tears of joy will stream down their faces okay this is the season where god says you will experience tears of joy and what i heard in my spirit that god said is that he has strategically oh excuse me he has strategically delayed answering some of our prayers in this season on purpose god said because now this last part of this year god said you will experience tears of joy and it's going to be like a domino effect it's going to be so seamless it's going to be so easy the way things fall into place the way things um start just start happening for you and thinking of that i recently were kept having dreams back to back of um phone calls right of people calling um and answer and prayers being answered like instant like hey can you come out here and do this hey da -da -da, hey so and so wants you to sign this contract like literally things that i had been praying for for a long time it was like i had to make sure that i was ready because the answered prayers and the phone calls were coming so fast that i didn't even have time to get ready I had a day to get myself prepared and ready in order to step into a room that I knew I was always supposed to be in, but it was delayed on purpose by God. And so listen, child, God said the way that things are going to happen so swiftly and so suddenly in this season, you're not going to have time to prepare. God said, you're just going to get the phone call. You're just going to get the job. You're just going to get the opportunity. And all you're going to have to do is to pack your bag and leave okay and so listen y'all i just want to give y'all testimony because i met this girl so do y'all see how those messages were in alignment with each other one message was you know you think i've forgotten about you i haven't forgotten about you 
I've just been giving you time to get your mindset back and right, to you to get back in gratitude, relax. And then <clears throat> the other one was a, a, a winning streak. And at the beginning, the first thing she said was, it's going to be a comfortable. She said, God's going to give you a comfortable. Word for y'all today. But before we get into the word, I just want to remind you up to version that God is called year. Okay. And so if you are one of those ones that just needs help and direct with y'all. So I have a word today. And um, the title of this word is a comfortable win. A comfortable. God give me a comfortable win. Like you don't even gotta put too much into it because you did the work, you went through your trial, you got your character building going on, and you see what I'm saying when I say everybody that I listen to when I watch is in alignment with you, and that is how you get messages from God besides you know reading the Bible. Um just yes, just y'all get ready, keep watching me because y'all gonna see before the before this year is up. Before this year is up, y'all gonna see my vision board coming to life, and that's why I'm making it because I had a faith that I'm I'm telling y'all, like I'm making it so I can say, You saw that right there? Bam, in real life. You see this? It's happening in real life. You see this? Because I was obedient. So it's one more thing I gotta do in obedience, and I'm really scared. I'm really nervous about it, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna say that for another day. Let's get started on a day. I started the day late because I was like, you know, in, in my um spiritual group. They probably still going on TikTok right now too. But yes, I will be back. We're going grocery shopping and finishing this what you call it. I need to go to Dollar Tree. I'm just excited. <laughs> trying the little scrambler um toasters what's called it that junk is good my muffin and my doritos and a gatorade wow all right now that i finished my girl dinner we can move on to my vision board okay let's go first thing we gonna put on here Uh, let's bring up my notes. <gasps> the Sony ZV-1. I'm going to start with the Sony ZV-1 before the Sony ZV-10 because for the simple fact that... Oh, do they have like the whole little kit set up? Because I want... I want the picture with the whole kit because y'all... The mic, all of that right, right there... <sighs> See, I don't want that one because it got a person holding it. I don't want, I'm sorry, I don't want no hands in my stuff. I'm black. Like, it don't get no blacker than that. Like, ooh, that is cute. Yeah, yeah. I want all three. Yeah. And it's just sitting there cute. Why it won't let me, um, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm supposed to let y'all see. Bam. What? Uh-uh. Bam. So, I'm trying to figure out. It always make me, in order to, like, that's making me mad. I always have to save it just to print. Get off of here right quick. I bet. And print. Okay, now we're looking for the MacBook Pro. We're just going to grab a little image. Let me see what we got here. So I'm even adding stuff like the health and happiness and state of mind that I want to be in. So let's take a look at which one. I typed in health as well. 
it's between that one because I like that it plays on the cubes and then this one I can't decide I'm not gonna hold y'all I picked this one because the other one had a white person finger in there and I'm black all right so the printer just ran out of paper so I'm gonna just show y'all what I got so far Yeah, I don't know where the, the refill paper is. Back Blue Pro. Sony ZZ1. Health is wealth. Yeah. I want to be healthy. You see how brand deals is for YouTube? Like, that's crazy. Some YouTube brand deals. <laughs> the Silver Rubicon. Me filling out YouTube plaque. I want massages at least bi weekly. Then I have, you know, a luxury apartment. All right, while I wait, I'm gonna go ahead and season and put these burgers in the oven. Yeah. Gang, yeah, gang. Yeah. All right. All right, now that I um, have done that, I'm going to go put in my prescription across town. Who are the main characters in the story, Pooh? Jeremy and Miss Sanchez. Good, write that down. And We're doing spell. homework now. I started her hair real nice. I'm going to finish it. So, I'm listening to Redemption by Drake right now, and... I decided to look up the word. I'm talking about I didn't played it twice since on the way to drop my kids off at home. And like, I'm just feeling the song so heavy. And so I decided to look up redemption because you know, I was, we, a lot of us has been in this season of spiritual warfare and doubting and everything. And I feel like God is a sign that God's telling us like, you've been redeemed. And you know me, I like to take songs like, everything i take everything spiritually so it's the reason this song came up and it was on my heart real heavy the action of saving or being saved from sin error or evil god's plan for the redemption of this world is an example number two the action of regaining or gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or a clearing of debt our debts are cleared our debts are cleared so I just want somebody to know that you've been redeemed. All right, y'all. Good morning, heirs. It is Thursday morning. Thursday. I skipped Wednesday. It was rest Wednesday. This day, Thursday morning. I'm about to get straight to the vision board. So I'm going to get ready to start cutting all these pictures out that I got so far. Go to the print computer print more once i see like how i want these laid out how i want to look and everything so yeah that's what y'all want to see me working on over here and yeah also i'm vibing out the view so if y'all see me i'm like literally vibing this morning i'm too turn too excited yeah I noticed that like I got a whole like like a uh, pictures for like what I want as far as YouTube and my business and then I have a home and lifestyle section and then I basically have like a inner healing and mental section so I decided I'm gonna break it up into sections so like right here all of these pictures right here are what I want as far as like YouTube and I'm gonna try to like stack them. Have like <clears throat> so this helps me see, and in the middle will be like the words and the scriptures and everything. So it's coming along, y'all. Also, I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Dollar Tree. So I just randomly stumbled across this, right? I don't even know what it says. Dream big, work hard. Period. 
And then when I opened it, look, y'all know how I said I wanted to write three things every day. It's very small, very spacious. Not too much, just three things every day. And try the three thing method where you write three things you want to accomplish down. And so this is what I'm going to use for that. And it was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and then I got this little spiral notebook that I'm going to use to write my YouTube ideas and go into detail. And then I got this one for a gratitude journal because I wanted a hardback one. I wish they had one like I want to get like a order a stack of hard spiral notebooks so I can have them for all different things. So yeah. So let me see what else I want to put on my vision board. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write that down in my YouTube. And look at the pages. It's cute, right? A dollar a dollar tree. I love Dollar Tree. Especially the big ones. They have a lot of good finds or whatever. So yeah. Okay, I wrote down some of the um, things I want. I want an accessory closet. That means I want a closet where I have shoes, bags, jewelry, and shades. Like, I want a picture like of me and my nails maintained, nail maintenance done. That's something that I have never in my whole lifetime been able to keep up, like, constantly. Um, I want... A picture of me like picture of salon hair care like I want to just I want to I'm I don't I want to go to the shop uh, I want two girls best friends I want to find a good picture of like two a three a three year old friend group uh, and I want like one of them to be like a business friend and I want the other one to be like a vlogging like a social media friend and we all just be like very positive, spiritual, you know, I would love that. And then um, an office space because I realized the picture I got for my business is so small. But that's the one that I liked for the business. And um, then like the mental, like with the words, I want something that shows that I'm organized, maybe an organized space or the word organized time management. I'm great at managing my time. I have a schedule. Um, I want the scripture about seeking God first because I want to be able to do that. And then I want like um, a relationship that's connected to God. So like a, a man and a woman that's connected with God, some kind of, I want to find a picture for that. And then uh, I also have the scripture Romans 8 1 8 and I'm trying to see if I need to add anything else maybe like protection I got health is wealth on there so I want healthiness um, toned up we'll see by the time I add all these on there we'll see and I don't want to give the whole board away I don't already showed y'all I have the pictures on the board so I believe I'm gonna just um, keep a few of them hidden. Y'all will see the rest of the process of me gluing and stuff. And then I'm gonna come back and talk about the whole board. And then that's where we're gonna end this vlog because I've been vlogging all week. All right. All right. So I'll be back. Finish my vision board, cook, 
and take time on my son's hair, right? So I was about to stop the video right here because I have this much left to go. And I completely ran out of ink. I hope I got my not too upset, but I ran out of ink. But this looks so fire, right? And I was gonna explain it and then <laughs> show y'all the next half and the next video. But I'm like, bro, I got an hour left before I have to pick them up from school. I could run to the library, print off the rest of these photos, and complete this vision board today. Like, why wait? What I can do is tomorrow take my daughter with me. No. No, I'm going to do it. But first, I'm going to explain everything. So, you see, I basically got a whole YouTube side. Oh, I need to. Take a thumbnail photo. Anyway, so I want a MacBook. MacBook Pro. So, I can get better at my editing. I can do more editings. The 100,000 subscriber YouTube clad. That's mine. That's my, I need to write errors and Sharpie like right there so y'all know that belongs to me. Um, You see how this has brand deals? Brand deals. Then I got my business selling out. I'm sitting around surrounded packages that I got to take to the post office. The Sony ZV-1. I want the Sony ZV-1 because basically like... Um, it comes manual and if you don't know how to work your camera, it's the best starter camera. Like all the settings are manual. You really don't have to do nothing to the setting. It automatically comes vlog ready with the Sony ZV-10. Um, <clears throat> you have to change the settings where it'll like work out for you and all of that. And so, yeah, then I got health as well. Um, luxury to me is the freedom of my time. I've told y'all that. And then this came with the picture. The chains are broken. The chains of poverty. The chains of slavery. The chains of working a nine to five. Having to work hard. All of that is broken off of me. <laughs> my my dream car. My baby. The Rubicon baby. A silver Rubicon Jeep. Um, As you can see. I'm going to be getting. I want to get at least bi-weekly massages massages on the regular like that's the lifestyle i want to live and then we got a black girl over here getting her nails done they having a good time she having a good time just when i started running out of ink and um you know her friend over there like it's a happy vibe nail salon then i got my luxury home over here it's just a luxury space and i look at the closet like look at the closet we got bags, shoes, dressers in there, little footstool, the hanger spots, the boxes. Like, I'm loving this closet. And so, yeah, I just got a few more to add on there. And we'll be easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. So, yeah. Why not go to the library with this extra hour of my time? Because I wasn't finna do nothing, but... Lay back down, maybe watch some more um, some more of that um, movie I was watching last night with the kids, Jurassic World. But like I said, I want to write down three things and I want to cross them off my list. So I cooked already. I made some turkey legs. Doing about to be good. And yeah, let's get to the library, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited to show y'all the rest of the board. Um, in these little cracks is where I'll be putting the words that I had printed out all on one paper, cut out and put them. So here I added, I looked up like basically a relationship with God at the center. You can see how this couple is offering everything they have to God and they understand that everything that they have belongs to God. I think that was a dope picture. I want a friend group of three best friends, which one of them is me and two more girls. I don't need, like, we don't even all have to be the greatest of friends. Like, I just want two of my own friends. And if that we all can, like, coexist, that's great. <clears throat> so, 
see how this one is they're all queens they're all black queens one is reading one is pouring into herself or feeling herself and then one is like i see her as like self-reflecting and so y'all know my dream trip is bali so yes that's me up in bali right there um I also want to go to the hair salon every couple of weeks and keep my hair maintained and my real hair. A lot of people don't know how to do people's real hair and take people's hair to people's real hair. So I thought it was cool that she's in the shop. She's wearing her natural hair and she's in the shop getting her natural hair did. I think that's real cool. Um, In my home, I want my own office. On the computer, this was all way more purple. Like I looked up purple office. But the way it printed off, it printed off kind of blue and it's throwing off everything. Like this wall was colored on flowers. Everything went together. And on here when I printed it out, it didn't look like that. But y'all see how I got the office space with my MacBook. I just wanted to pretty much show my MacBook set up in my office space and a nice plant and a window to look out of. <clears throat> and then this right here is it represents time management. I wanted a picture to represent time management instead of writing it out. You see how every um, hour on the clock has a managed time. I want my time to be managed. I want to be scheduled. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to cut out the rest of the words. This is the vision board. <coughs> Take a picture of that. And then, um, yeah. It's so exciting. And then I'm going to fill those little spaces in different areas with the different words. I just started trying to find a story of them going from the promised land. Um, and it taking them uh, 40, 40, it took them 40 years instead of 11 days. But every time I look on Google and to get the exact location of where the story starts, where they got out and they got freed from Egypt and where they started on the journey to the land. They give me like a scripture in Numbers. They give me a scripture in Deuteronomy. They give me a scripture in Exodus, but I don't see the story. Like I want to find the exact story of where they got free, broke free from Egypt, and then Moses started, and I want to see what exactly takes them. But what I'm looking up, I'm seeing that basically it was a lack of faith that did it. And so if that sums it up right there, I really don't need to read it. I still want to read it. I still like, because I read like a few scriptures after the scriptures they provided on Google, but they started getting into all these cities and towns. That's when my mind just started shutting down. Like, okay, we go first, we came from the land of Mobile, and then it is, and then it's the land of, you know how they start the Bible going on, start listing cities and then listing ancestors and listing this and that. And I'm like, okay, where's the story, Lord? Because you know my attention span is about this much. So. I think it all boiled down to a lack of faith. And so, yeah, like I said, today I'm going to probably watch, um, what is it, Friday? It's Friday. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> today I'm going to probably, uh, I finished this yesterday. I just didn't get to show y'all the bottom after I finished it because the house was real quiet. Y'all know I focus and think and talk better. Like, I can't do things when a lot of people are around me. I don't have, like, it makes my brain shut down. So when everybody's gone, that's when I think the best. That's when I get the most creative. That's when I get my creative juices flowing. So I decided to show it to you this morning. But yeah. So I finished it. Um, I'll be back. All right. I just ate breakfast. But these are the words I got. Organized. Community. What I got. Debt free. Loved. Scheduled, great mom, seek God first, impactful, happy, inspiring, Romans 8, 1, 8, and 10. Like, these are all things I want, so I'm going to add these words. Alright, right, y'all, this is the finished product. All right, we're going into the shop to get my son's hair did. 
This is what he look like now. He finna get his hair locked up. All right, I already gave them the rundown on how they better act when we get in here. I'm gonna probably finish rally hair while we in there. You used to be able to could go in shops like you know in between time like you know if, even if you early you used to be able to be able to go and sit in shops but like I mean, he would be using it in between time which makes sense. Oh, I love 